Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Everything, and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting from a team. Alright, now these videos are specifically geared towards the Davian Royal House Guards or the First Royal Aerospace Squadron, but any guild leader or any guild member uh, can use these skills when dealing with the Engine website. So now Engine uh, gives you the ability to let's go to let's go to admin let's go to games okay so what you're doing in games is you're assigning what games are being played on that website basically and I've picked for my Davian Royal House Guards the Mech Warrior Online game okay now you can create teams you also have users but you can create teams and I've done this I've created two teams specifically the regimental headquarters Lance and more importantly the training platoon okay so now what happens is when someone applies to the unit they immediately when they, and they get accepted they immediately get applied to what's called the training platoon uh, because in our unit what we do is we put them through a short training class uh, and then once they finish the training they get moved from the training platoon into the actual battalion roster Okay, and that is located somewhere else. But uh, it's simple. To create a team, you just click Create Team, you give it a name, and that's it, right? That's simple enough. Uh, and if you want to blow, you want to change the name of the team, you can click here. If you want to send a message to everyone in the team, you can click there. Uh, now, originally, what I had done was I had created a team uh, for every single one of my lances and every little group had their own team over here. Uh, I found that was a little bit too hard to um, display on the website. I found it was easier to display members in groups using the tag system. So I would tag them with like an alpha lance and that way in the uh, on the website itself on the web pages, it would display the alpha lances, you know, in one spot, a bravo lance in another spot. It was a lot easier for me. But when it comes to recruiting, this puts them in a training, it wants to put them in a, uh, into a team here. And so what I've done is I've left the training platoon as a team so that um, they get, they're here and it's easier for the trainers to find out who's exactly in the training platoon and who's not. So there's no need to really add anyone to the training platoon, but if you wanted to add someone to the training platoon, all you have to do is go add user right there. But the reason why I'm um, showing this video is because uh, our leaders need to know how to remove someone from the training platoon. You click on their name and then you click on remove. Are you sure you want to remove them from the training team? Yes. And boom, they're not in the training platoon anymore. Okay, so like when our trainers finish someone's training, one of the first things they should do is go to the website, right? They go to admin, they go to games, because they have the privileges to do this, and then they go to teams, the training platoon, find who finished the training, and then click on remove. And that way they're no longer in the training platoon. Other trainers don't are, you know, are aware that that guy's been completely removed from training and that he's finished his training. It's that simple. Uh, now, other units, they might use these uh, teams as like tournament teams, uh, specific teams that would play in a tournament or maybe specific groups of guys that always play together uh, because this would be an easy way to drop them a message to everybody but I'm gonna tell you um, when you're in the message system all you have to do is type in a tag and the tag will send a message to everybody with that tag so I think the team system is a kind of a redundant thing except for when it comes to the application it wants to place people in a team or assign it you know so I set them up to automatically go to the training platoon okay so uh, thank you for coming out and checking out this video I hope this will help you and your uh, guild members understand the system and uh, I have a 
few other videos in our tutorial series you might want to check out, like how to create an event, how to add or subtract a tag, and how to use the warning system, and also how to send a message in Engine. I'll see you next time.